Hello, I'm Dave Llewellyn. Here are your headlines from 7 Action News. Kenyell Brown, a suspect in a string of murders, is dead, according to police sources. That word comes days after he shot himself in the head while police were in pursuit. It's unclear which organs will be donated, but we're told it was his family's request. A bank robber is wanted in Chesterfield Township. The man hid his face to rob the First State Bank on Gratiot just before noon Friday. He implied having a gun and escaped with an unknown amount of cash. Nearby, Lance Cruz schools were on lockdown until police determined it was safe. Police released a new photo of the robbery suspect we first told you about Thursday night. He's posing as a woman on Snapchat and Tinder to ambush unsuspecting men at gunpoint. They were all asked to meet in the area of Wyoming and the Lodge on Detroit's west side. Here's Chief Meteorologist Dave Rexroth now with a check of your seven first alert forecast. It is not warm Saturday morning. It's still pretty cold, but it gets warmer in the afternoon. Warmer still by 10 degrees on Sunday. And once we get to the 40s, we stay there all of next week. Now, it's not all bright and rosy. It's actually pretty bright on Saturday, uh, but there's some showers there, but the rain showers, not snow. So enjoy the weekend warming up while it warms. All right, Dave, thanks. The 33rd annual Salvation Army Bed and Breakfast, uh, Bed and Bread Radiothon was a big success, surpassing the fundraising goal, raising a little more than $1.6 million. WJR hosted the event, started by Detroit radio legend Dick Purton. The money will help provide food and shelter in Metro Detroit. My partner Carolyn Clifford and I were uh, happy to be part of uh, that effort on Friday. Those are your headlines. Remember, go to WXYZ.com and our app for news anytime. Have a great day.